Hey guys, it's me Zell, and we're here with another episode of The Bad Batch. We're on season three, and it's episode two today. Paths Unknown. Continuing on my watch through today, since we had three episodes out. Just recently got done watching the first episode and uh, started off on a good note, a sad note. So I imagine it's gonna, honestly, the whole season's probably gonna be like that because it's kind of the end of like all this buildup and, uh, the family bonding has been even closer and getting to some intense moments with uh, Omega being captured and all that. And of course now Crosshair is probably there against as well. Not probably, definitely is. So he's kind of done with the Empire's BS, but anyhow, let's uh, see what we're in store for today. Episode two of The Bad Batch, season three. Let's get to it. <laughs> Question my loyalty. What? The charges against me are false! Stop wasting our time, Captain. Uh. Confess to your crimes and we may show mercy. Your accomplices have been captured and told us everything. Roland. There is no need for further deception. You are guilty of conspiracy against this family. Any last words? The syndicate has grown weak under your rule, Lady Durand. Whoa. Weak, you say? Who here agrees? Cut! You're dismissed, Captain. <laughs> oh. Wait, so this is the... Oh. Oh. Did not expect this. Whoa, they're really rough. You'd be dead if my son hadn't convinced me to consider your offer. And we're here to deliver. You asked for the pike who disgraced your family. Oh, his horn. It's all yours. Oh, this isn't over, Duran. Impressive. Your willingness to cross the pikes shows how desperate you Why are. Why is the intel you've requested of such value to you? Wow, they've been going Dr. deep. Dr. Hemlock stole someone from us. We heard your syndicate had the connections needed to find the Imperial Flame. Wow. But one of our sources came across these coordinates linked to his laboratory. And they've been verified? Take what you came for and go. Before my generosity runs out. Oh my. What a cool visual of that face. Sad. Text glasses. Omega's toy. Come on. Omega's been waiting for us a long time, Wicker. I'm not making her wait another day. Durand's intel could be wrong. We're not alone. Oh. Freeze! Drop your weapons. <laughs> Blaster hey. beat stick, kid. Wrecker. They're regs. And who are you? Wait, are those We're clones. young clones? Same as you. You don't look like clones. They must be 99s. Defectives. Defective and effective. <laughs> what are you two doing out here? What's it look like? Surviving. Or trying to. What do you want? We're looking for a young girl. She's a clone. We think she was sent to the lab here. Never saw anyone like that. But Mox might know about her. He won't talk to them. Please, 
We have to find her. She's part of our squad. Stick to the trail, follow our steps, and don't touch the vines. Don't do it, Wrecker. Interesting. So when the Empire transferred us off Camino, we thought we were getting more training. Oh. Instead, they made us prisoners, took samples of our blood. Why? What was the Empire doing here? Whatever they wanted. Uh oh. Stop. What? Wrecker, behind you. It gets hostile when you shoot it. You mean it's not already hostile? No! Come this on. is like Jumanji. Slow the vines. The Empire made it. It's some kind of experimental weapon until they lost control of it. That's Probably why they lab. ordered a base Delta Zero on their own facility. We'll be safe on the crag. The slither vines haven't spread there. Mox! Who are they? Clones. We found them by the overlook. looking for a young girl. She was taken by an Imperial Does named Hemlock. Older? Her name's Omega. Like a teenager? Never saw a girl around the lab. But I know Hemlock. He was in charge. Until things One changed. day the Imperial started packing up and shipped out. So we made our move and escaped. Even the clone troopers left us to die. Said they were following orders. Mm. We get it. Yeah. We've lost people too. Going near those ruins is a suicide mission. You're on your own. They need help, Mox. Aww. I'll go with them. Look at him. This uh -oh. clone you're looking for. Omega. I'll take their ship. How long has she been gone? Too long. But we're not giving up. I wish the other clones felt that way about us. You may be defective CTs, but at least you're loyal. I thought one day I'd be flying one of these on a mission. A lot's changed. Are you gonna join? Got the gear and oh. the power. <laughs> Lead the way, kid. Donkey. Wow, it has like a mind of that. Oh no. See, they won't leave you behind. We leave him behind, then we're no better than the troopers who did the same to us. Mm hmm that's right, Mox. Mox. They're risking their lives to find a member of their squad. I respect that. They won't make it back from the ruins. Well, you then, know that. Why don't you wait If we to wait confirm. and the Slither Vines reach their ship, our chance to escape is gone. I see. Ooh, that's deep. Be stinkers. Shouldn't there be like a genetic or so? I mean, they're hacking and bypassing systems and stuff, but I feel like it's too easy to steal ships. You really think you can fly this thing? Where will we go? Anywhere's better than here. Check this out a DC 17.
Keep it steady! Is always fitting in with the kids. <laughs> I've been going over the data. Looks like Hemlock transferred his entire base of operations to another location. His experiments, too. Did the intel say where he went? There was a mention of a sector, but nothing more to cover. So they're gonna well, be that's where Omega, Omega is. Omega is yeah. That's where we're going. We'll drop you three off someplace safe. Where? An island. There are oh. good people there. We're cadets without an army. I don't know where we fit anymore. You have time to figure it out. Make your own path. Be something other than a soldier. What about you? Our mission is not over yet. that was a good episode um very actiony lots going on you know i thought they made a smart choice of making the first episode kind of more intense and drama like giving you a reality of the situation and then they kind of have these not filler that's not the word for it but these kind of action or smaller moments the build up to like the finale you know where they're clearly going to go and try to rescue omega come in contact again with crosshair so all these all these little things are adding up you know we got some more intel about like they took young clones and they like destroyed the facility some of them got out and they're they're also looking what's their purpose and had to survive in this island and more like experiments or science that um hemlock was doing and then you know bonding and, and showing some clones what a new life they can have that they have choice they're more than just what they were made to be which is soldiers but that they can have a family that there are people out there that care there are people that have loyalty that make their own choices and aren't just going following orders so yeah it was good to see that and really interesting with the horror and again i love them um teasing with these horror aspects and uh the cool like of uh, science experiment gone wrong the vines have a mind of their own and a little kind of a uh, easter egg reminder of again the sand sandworm is that what it's called that boba fell into really fun cool episode but anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, another cool um, episode down and have another one to go. So I'll see you on the next one.